Good morning, Joe here at Larry's Pistol and Pond, North Memorial Parkway in beautiful downtown Huntsville, Alabama, one of the truly best places on the planet to live. Today we're in the shooting range as usual in the ammo dump, and today we're going to talk about a little bit of a continuation from last week. Last week we talked about the broom handle Mauser made back in, in uh, 1896. So now we're going to go to the next iteration of that kind of a gun, if you will. Also came out of Germany. This is the actual st uh, Luger, okay, manufactured from about 1908 up into the, this actually into the 50s. Uh, this is a one of the uh, local collector's guns here. It's a really nice version. This one is one that you might see if you went out and tried to buy one, something like this. These things are quite expensive now, but in World War I and World War II, these were very common as they were manufactured in France uh, and then after World War II uh, and all through the World War I and World War II in Germany. The Russians actually manufactured these after World War II in the Russian sector of East Germany, if you will. So this is a really interesting gun to have. Uh, it's collectible, it's 9 by 19 Parabellum. Interesting thing about Parabellum, you see that on a lot of cartridges now that are 9 by 19. Parabellum is, actually is a loose translation from the Latin words, which really translates into for peace, prepare for war, which is an interesting take on this because this gun was used in war, in World War I, World War II, and in other wars. Uh, it was used by a lot of countries, not just Germany, also used in France, used in, in Bulgaria, used in a lot of countries uh, down in South America. It's really common in that area. So this is a very, uh, very nice version here. Now, if you don't want to get a hold of one of these, here's another version you could try. This is a Stoger Luger, okay? This one is in the box. Still have the box for this one. This looks much like the actual German Luger made by George Luger but it's made by the Stoger Company. These were made from 69 to about 85. And this one is in 22 caliber, so you can afford to buy these. These are run about $1,000 now, depending on where you can find them in their condition, of course, since they quit making them in 85. But uh, I bought this one actually in 1974, and I actually paid 78 bucks for this one in 1984, or 74, sorry, 1974. Uh, if you buy something like this, or anytime you buy a firearm, something to keep in mind, Always make sure that you keep all of the box, keep all the paperwork, keep everything that you get with it. We call that case candy with the original instruction manual and so forth. You get things like this in here. This is actually the magazine for that, and this is an actual loader. You simply put that on, and you pull this down like so, and you can lock that and load five rounds, or pull it down like that and lock it and load ten rounds in the magazine. All these kind of things make your firearm much more valuable as time goes on. So if you buy a firearm, never throw the box away, never throw the case candy away. Keep all that stuff with your firearm. Keep the receipt, keep everything with your firearm. All right, so that's the, the German Luger and its follow-on successor, the Stoger Luger. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week.